So Taylor Swift, full disclosure, I obviously, I mean, I'm not her demographic. I don't listen to her stuff. I listen to good music. I'm into like old rock and roll, heavy metal, 70s rock, uh, even EDM. Um, I pretty much listen to every genre with the exception of classical and country. Um, so I'm not a fan. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people are fans though. She's got, uh, let's see what her fan base was. I pulled it up on Instagram. Her 280 million followers. All right, well, since I got that up, I guess since I have all my tabs up here in queued, I might as well go through them as I pull them up. So the first thing you notice about this tab over here is, um, well, there's a absence of Travis on it. It's, it's all her. Um, I know that the romance is, I think, relatively new, is what most people would say. Um, but uh, it's completely absent of uh, Mr. Kelsey the important man in her life. But she has quite the pull. 280 million follows is nothing to sneeze at. That is a lot of, um, a lot of people. And um, one of the uh, criticisms, I think, that have been made of her, reasonably anyway, is um, that she's uh, a bit of a psyop. We'll get into that in a little bit. Um, I put out a tweet over here last not even last month, two months ago now. We're in February already. Um, over on X Twitter, and uh, it went it, it went crazy. A lot of people got pissed off at me. A lot of people loved it. But anyway, so snapshot Taylor Swift. She's thirty four, unmarried, doesn't have any kids. Has well at that time I saw fourteen ex boyfriends. I'll get to the real number in a bit, which ties into the red flag. Uh, we'll talk about this as we kind of deal with the exes. Got a bunch of cats, most popular songs, and these are just the ones that popped off the page when I looked at her um, catalog of music. Shake It Off, Look What You Made Me Do, I Knew You Were Trouble, Bad Blood, Don't Blame Me, and You Need to Calm Down. Um, she's been criticized for singing a lot about her exes, which there are a lot of, and um, Apparently, she's not had a good relationship with all of them, for the most part, with the exception of one, the guy from uh, Twilight. I can't remember his name, uh, but she's but he's the only one that she's remained uh, friendly with, not as friends. It doesn't. We couldn't find anything about her meeting up with exes or men from her past, so either she doesn't or she's been uh, really good about covering that up. But the question I asked is, do you understand why Western, I should have corrected this and said Western liberal women identify with her? Uh, she is a popular avatar in that space. Very, very popular. Uh, she's an avid supporter of uh, abortion rights, uh, LGBT, you know, the alphabet rights. Um, she was notably absent from offering any opinion about politics until about 2019, 2020, I think it was, um, where she started talking about uh, voting out Donald Trump and... Um, also encouraging her followers to uh, go and register to vote. Now, the controversies around these two, they're not as salacious as you'd, as you'd hope. I know people are looking, people love red meat. You know, they like, they want the red meat. They want the flaming red tits, right? Um, the worst that we got here is a controversy with uh, Kanye, uh, which was insignificant. You know, Kanye is just being Kanye, being a dick when he climbed, climbed up on the stage and uh, interrupted her um, receiving the award. Um, let me see here what else popped up. So she grew up in Nashville. Parents had a Christmas tree farm. Both her parents battled cancer. Uh, she's got... Now, you know, people are looking for, well, okay, well, what are the red flags? I'll get to that in a second. She's got a very good relationship with both her parents. So hat tip to her and, you know, to her family for maintaining that because usually one of the first things that you'll see, uh, especially women start to lean left, left liberalish. Um, you know, they make uh, comments around supporting uh, Democrats, hating Republicans, um, supporting things like uh, termination of pregnancy, abortion rights, um, LGBTQ, you know, alphabet sort of community stuff. Um, interesting that came from Nashville of all places because it's a more conservative sort of town uh, with generally more conservative women. Um, yeah, there's no other highlights on this note here, so I'm not even going to bother putting that one up. Here's something which I found interesting. Um, 
because you know guys are like, well, do you think Travis is getting into, uh, you know, is he biting off more than he can chew? Is she going to be a problem for him later? Like, what's going on? Because Travis Kelsey, if you don't know who he is, he's a t- he's a tight end for an NFL football team. Again, I'm not a fan of football either, so I can't sit there and watch other guys play games and stuff like that. But um, he's world class at what he does. He's very very good at it. Um, we'll get into his character uh, stuff in a little bit. One of the things he said recently was that he was looking for a breeder. Um, he got called out on social media for saying he was looking for a breeder, meaning mother stock, essentially. And, you know, uh, you know, the fembots came at him for it and started saying some nasty things. Um, let me just show you a screenshot of her, Taylor's parents, because this is where, one, this isn't an overt red flag that I specifically mentioned in the list of 21 in my book, but it should be noted that I think most guys commonly will look at this. It's just known. Take a look at her mom, you know, before you you take somebody on on a long-term basis. Um, Because eventually she's going to look like her, right? She's going to age into that category. Usually, I mean, most women have their kids from this era in their 20s and very early 30s. So I'm assuming in 20 to 30 years or so, uh, Taylor Swift is going to look a little look a little bit like mom over here. In fact, she has all the features, eyes, smile, nose, everything. Uh, Doesn't look too much like dad, but she's got all of mom's features for sure. Very, very, very strong resemblance from the eyes. But this situation over here, I mean, if I, if my parents were still young enough and in great health, like her parents are, I would be embarrassed to have my parents show up looking like that. My parents don't look like that and they're, and they're elderly now, but, um, Take a look at a woman's mom. That, that's you know, it's a good sign of what you're going to get in the future, right? Um, there's no good away from that. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here. That clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line, books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.